Hello my fellow programmers, this is Triple Code Broker and today I'm gonna show you how Dijkstra's algorithm works I'm gonna demonstrate for you the steps are listed in the right side and I'm gonna use a distance array and a visited array just to keep uh, the distance and the nodes which will be visited will be marked alright so I have to tell you before I start that Dijkstra's algorithm uh, works only if our arcs are are not of uh, a negative weight. So if I have an arc which has a negative weight, then the algorithm will will not work for sure, right? So let's go ahead and start demonstrating. Now, first of all, I have to start uh, select to select a start point, and for the first example, I'm gonna start with node A. Uh, I will show you another. I will also demonstrate with another starting point just to see that the results will vary. Right, so let's go ahead and start. Let's uh, initialize. We will, we will initialize based on our on our uh, starting point, and we will set its weight to zero, and the other weights will be set to infinity in our distance array. All right. So after initializing. We're going to have to update all nodes reachable from the current node. So reachable nodes are C, B, and F. All right. So let's go ahead and start with A to C connection. All right. A to C connection tells us that twelve is the distance plus zero, that is the distance of the current node, is twelve, and this weight is smaller than infinity. All right. So we're going to change it. So infinity goes off. And we go with 12. Now to B, it's the same thing, and it goes to 3. 3. Now to F, it's again the same thing, and it's going to 5. 5. Now we go. Alright, so now we have ended up updating all nodes reachable from the current node. So let's mark now no we're going to step two. Set current node as visit, so we will mark it as visited. Alright. I'm just gonna mark the cells in this array. In the developing session you can set it as one or zero. You can actually use uh, ones and zeros or you can actually use Boolean uh, type uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a developing video too to show you how how to work with the visited array. Now let's set it as visited and go ahead and set as new current node the nearest node which isn't visited and the nearest one is B which has a weight of 3. 3 is smaller than 12 and it's smaller than 5. Alright? So our new current node is B. So let's go ahead and process B. Repeat two until three, uh, until no visited reachable nodes exists. Now, the reachable nodes from B are A, F, E. A will not be updated since it's visited. F will be updated. So three, sorry, the current no, uh, node weight is three from B, and two F is one. Three plus one is four, which is smaller than five that it is already. So we're gonna change it for <coughs> four. There we go. Now from B to E, it's four. So three plus four is seven, which is more than infinity. And so we're gonna change it to seven. Seven. There we go. Now we have uh, finished updating all the all original notes from B and we're gonna set it as visited. We're going to step three. Sorry. Now we're selecting the new current note, which is gonna be A F, which has weight four. F reaches to G and E. So we're gonna update uh, them. Uh, F has a current weight of four. Four plus six is ten, which is bigger than seven that E has already so we're not gonna upgrade it sorry we're not gonna update it 
and f2g is 2, which is smaller than infinity. So 2 plus the current weight that f has, which is 4, is going to be 6. So we make it 6. Alright. Now we have finished with f2. Mark it. Sorry. Visit. And now we're going to the next one, which is going to be g. It's, it's the closest one. Sorry, I made them. Oh, sorry. No, yes, I was right. Uh, G is going to be the next one. G goes to nowhere, which is visited. So we are going to say this visited and continue processing. We're going to E. E goes to nowhere again. So we're going to mark it as visited and keep going with C. C goes to nowhere, mark it as visited. And that's all. That's the end of our processing. Processing. And D is a node that remains outside of our graph. So infinity is the shortest path to to D. So now this distance array holds the result. So holds the shortest path, the distance of the shortest path from A to any other nodes of our graph. Right. So if if I want to go from B to A, the closest to A is three. That's that's what our distance array tells us. Also, if I want to go from A to E, the closest distance is 7. So I go to B, from B I go to E. And that's 7. Right? So, this is how actually Dexter's algorithm works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you another example with another starting route, just to see that the results will vary. For this demonstration, I'm going to use f of, as my starting point. I have already initialized the distance array. And now let's go ahead and start processing. f to b is 1, which is smaller than infinity. Change it to 1. Yes, 1. Now from f to e is 6, which is smaller than infinity, 2. And from f to g is two, which is more than infinity two. All right, so we have finished processing. Oh, sorry, we have also f to a, which is five, is more than infinity two. Now we have finished processing f. We are going to mark it as visited. F visited. F, there we go. Now we're going to B, which is the closest one. B to A is distance is three. Three plus one is four, which is more than five. And we're going to change five to four here. Four. There we go. From B to E, it's four. Four plus one is five, which is more than six. So we're going to sh change it again. Now we have finished processing B2. There we go. B is processed too. Now we're going to G, which is the closest one. G goes to nowhere. G is, is marked as visited. Now we're going to A, which has distance 4. 4 plus 12, it has to C, is 16. 16 is more than infinity. We're just going to change. Sorry, we're going to change it. And there we go with C, it's going to be 16. There we go. Now A is, is processed, it's visited too. Now we are going to E, E is processed, it's going to nowhere. Process 2, we're going to C, C goes to nowhere, visited, and we have finished again processing our. Uh, graph. All right. So these are. This actually is is the result that we get if we have f as our starting point with this graph. All right. So this is how the access algorithm works. I'm gonna make uh, more videos with other shortest path algorithms like Bellman Ford and Flay Washer, and I'm gonna make a developing video of this algorithm. Uh, be sure to subscribe support the channel guys and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.